What's up everybody, my name is Jack and you're watching Random Panda Resellers. And in today's video, as you're about to see, I'm going to go to a couple thrift stores and uh, I'm just going to show you what I find, just like several of the uh, videos before. But at the beginning, I wanted to show you some of the stuff I found at a Goodwill yesterday. I should have brought the GoPro. It was a ton of fantastic items. I'm just going to show you a few of the uh, best items that I got there from there. First one is I found this super nice Patagonia fleece right here. I'll show the model for uh, each of these items. This should be probably an easy $30, $40. Uh, if it had Cinchilla on the tag, it would have been worth even more. Uh, still a very a very good pickup right there. The next item is another Patagonia. This is a Made in USA vintage one. It has a, a couple of little just like light burns on it, just little marks here and there. Uh, still should be easy, $30, $40. Same deal if you can find a vintage uh, scintilla and it has a print on it. It can be worth a lot of money. The next item are, I ended up finding several Lululemon. This is a women's, I believe kind of like a crop top uh, pullover. It's probably an easy $30, $40. I'll show the uh, style of it right around here somewhere. Very nice find. It was like six bucks too. All this was like normal price, six, seven bucks. Those Patagonia, I think, were only eight or something crazy like that. Uh, next brand is Lacoste Sport. Normal Lacoste don't sell very well, but if you ever find the Sport under it and it's in good shape like this one, they can sometimes go for like thirty, forty dollars. I've ended up selling a couple a while back for that, and they sold really quickly. This is also a great size. This is a 3XL, so should sell really quickly. Uh, this is another Patagonia. This is a regulator or an R, probably one through four. If you ever see this R right here, it's automatically gonna be worth a lot more. These jackets usually go for probably at least $40, $50, maybe even more than that. So definitely look out for those Rs on the sleeve. The next item, this is probably the coolest and probably the might be quite rare or most expensive is this Carhartt. It is uh, lined as you can see here and it has a very interesting graphic on the back of it. It's super cool. I was seeing just and I couldn't find an exact comp like this so someone must have just put this embroidery on it but some of the embroidered uh, coats were going I think for at least 50 60 bucks maybe even more to like a hundred hundred fifty uh, I'll show a comp similar to it uh, it'd be awesome if I even get a hundred bucks for this I think I paid 12 for it so very nice find nice if you ever find uh, Carhartts that have a uh, line across of it like they're vintage and they'll have like a Navajo or Aztec print they can go upwards to like two to three hundred dollars I ended up selling one like a year ago for that so definitely look out for any Carhartt vintage jackets some can be worth a lot of money and then the last item before we head out I wanted to show you was this really nice Nike uh, pullover fleece it is brand new it's just like an oversized hoodie I think I paid only like six dollars for this. This was at the uh, Guthrie Goodwill. It's an excellent find. Anything uh, brand new Nike can be worth uh, pretty good money. Should be an easy 30, 35 bucks. So that's all I've got so far. So stay tuned and I'll see you at the thrift store. All right, first item. It's a Kipling bag. You can see right there. Normally they come with a little monkey on them, but doesn't look like this one does, but Kipling is an excellent brand to look out for for purses and like this. It's like a satchel bag kind of deal. Probably easy 30, 40 bucks for seven bucks. It's pretty awesome right there. Definitely look out for anything with the monkey on it. Could be worth a good amount of money. Next item is a Texas Instruments TI 84 plus CE Python. These are I think the newest the newest style of them. These go for like 50, 60 bucks. For 15 bucks, they should sell really quickly. And as you can see, it seems to be working, which is awesome. So I'll definitely get that. Look out for any TI-84s, 83s, uh, plus Cs. These can be worth easy 30, 40, or 50 or 60 if it's this one. Awesome. Another cool brand to look out for called Calder Caramel. Uh, usually on these shirts, you'll see 
that it's like out of so many items. Like this one is uh, one out of 150. Uh, these go for like 25, 30 bucks a piece. I think the rarer the print, obviously the more. Uh, should be a quick sale. I ended up finding one a while back. It ended up having a stain, so it didn't sell for a while, but this, as long as it's in good shape, should sell really quickly. Like I said, 25, 30 bucks. Awesome. Brown cool. Just a nice long sleeve. A little uh, pocket on the side right there. It's awesome, should be an easy 25 bucks. Looks like it's called Wild Fiber. I'll show a comp for that uh, for six bucks. Sweet, that'll be a uh, easy sell for sure. An excellent brand, Mizzen in Maine. It's got a cool anchor print on it. Pretty cool, it's the V word type. This will probably sell for 25, 30 bucks. That's awesome. Any of these types of prints could probably make it worth more, so definitely look out these prints on using Google Images. Sometimes they could be worth a lot more, especially like Peter Millar. So definitely take a picture, and you never know. All right, I just found something really cool looking. This is a kid's uh, Polo Ralph Lauren. It has a little bear on it, brand new, five bucks. Normally I wouldn't get kid stuff, but for brand new, this should sell for 20, 30 bucks. If you find like men's with the bear on, it can go up for like 40, 50, 60, maybe even more if it's brand new. So always get them if you find the bear. They're always worth a lot more, usually two, three times uh, normal price. So very awesome find. All right, I just got off the rack and found a couple of really nice items. First is a Pendleton, as you see here, made in USA. Uh, pretty good shape. It's got a couple of uh, stains. I'll have to see if I can get those out. Should be easy, 35, 40 bucks for six. So that's an awesome find right there. All right, I was uh, looking up that print. I couldn't find the exact one, but I think it might be a shadow plaid Pendleton. If you don't know, shadow plaid is like highly sought after. They go for like up to like a hundred, hundred and fifty dollars. So uh, let me know in the comments what you think. You think it is a shadow plaid or not? Uh, if it is, like I said, maybe a hundred bucks. If not, still easy, forty, fifty dollars. Next one is Clover by Bobby Jones. And the only reason why I got it is because it has the Masters logo on it. I saw one comp going for like 40 bucks, so pretty awesome for six bucks. And then lastly, some Lululemon Swiftly Tech for six bucks. It's got a couple of light stains, so I try to get them out, but awesome. Should be super fast, 25, 30 bucks. Here's an unusual thing. This is on cloud actually. This is a men's Moreno wool base layer shirt. Uh, didn't know they made that. So these are going for like $30, $40 a piece. See it has the little logo down here, if you can see that. Uh, didn't see any holes or stains on it, so easy listing and comps I think were like two, three hundred percent. So that's pretty awesome. Alright, this is another cool. This is a if y'all can see that. This is a women's uh, jacket, full zip, size 2XL, which is awesome size. This should sell easy 30, 35 bucks. If you ever see the mountain logo, I'll show it right here. Definitely get it. This is an excellent brand. And then I also got some Eva Vero. This is pretty good. Um, this one probably would sell for roughly 25 or so. If you find one with a print on it, they can go upwards to like 35, 40 bucks. So definitely look out for that brand as well. All right, I just got from a rack over that way and got several Harley Davidson. I'm just gonna show you. Here's the first one. Each of these is only six bucks a piece. As you can see there, it's got a little graphic on here. Next one, it's a nice button up. Has a little print on the back here which is awesome next one this one's probably the most plain out of them each of these should sell easy 25 bucks the cool thing about this is they don't have any like extra embroidery like from 
saying it's from Oklahoma or North Carolina or anything. That's one thing you gotta look for. Uh, stuff like that doesn't tend to sell as well, but these should all sell pretty easily, like I said, for 25, 30 bucks around that range, which is awesome. Very nice. This is just some free people movement, and as you can see, that little tag. Uh, for three bucks, which is pretty nice. It's got little stars on the uh, sleeves. Normally these types I wouldn't get because they aren't usually worth like 15, 20 bucks, but for three bucks, even if it's worth 15, I can make maybe 10, so I'll definitely chance that. All right, this is an excellent brand to look out for called Wallace and Barnes. It is, I think, from J. Crew. Uh, it's the, like higher up. This probably is worth like 40, 50 bucks. I'll show a comp. It's very different with the random pockets. It's a size extra small, which will kind of hurt it a little bit. But like I said, this brand is pretty sought after. So definitely look out for this for six bucks. It's an excellent deal for sure. All right, so I had to do a quick short. I ended up looking this up and you won't believe it, but I found the exact comp sell for $190, and it was on a bid. This is insane. This, uh, like I told you, Wallace Barnes, if you ever find it, snatch it. It is a fantastic brand, super high end. If you find the vintage stuff like this, can be worth hundreds of dollars. Every time I find it, it's over 100 bucks. So definitely look out for that. Excellent find right there. I just thought I'd show you. Super cool find. This is a new brand I've never heard of called Kobe Halpern. Halpern. This shirt is made out of like a mix of cotton and silk, and some of comes from for like 35, 40 bucks. So I'll definitely chance that. Uh, the sulfur rate's kind of weird too, maybe 25, 30, but I will still try it out and see. It could sell for a lot. All right, that ended up being pretty good. So I'm gonna to go to one more Goodwill and we're gonna see what else I can find. So stay tuned. All right, first item. These are some Joys. And surprisingly, these comps are going for like 70 to $100 for these. And these are six bucks. Definitely need a little bit of cleaning. Definitely uh, dirty, but just like I said, easy 50, 60 bucks for these, even with the missing lace. So. That is awesome. Very great find. It's a really cool women's Lululemon jacket. Normal price, eight bucks. That's an excellent deal. Definitely well for that. This should, should sell probably 30, 35 bucks. So that's awesome. All right, as you all saw, ended up going to two uh, Goodwills today. The first one was fantastic. I ended up finding like 20, 25 items there. The second one wasn't as great. For some reason, when I was uh, going through the Goodwill, it looked like there was only like some of the racks had like half the amount of what they normally do. They must have been just kind of redoing some of the rows. So I didn't end up finding a whole lot there. Uh, I did find one or two other items I didn't get on film. I got another Topo design, uh, Morena wool top. And then I think I got, what was the other item? I don't know, got some other item it was worth probably 25, 30 bucks. So if y'all like this video, just hit that like button. And if you aren't subscribed, hit that subscribe button because that'd be fantastic for us. And then if you want to watch another video, I'll show it on my right side and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.